I've actually wanted to get into commentary for a while, but I never really like showed always up that much. Here. We're always, always yeah. We're actually not bad at it, so yeah. yay! Most Let's people go. just never say anything. No, no. The first time I ever commentated, um, my first tournament was at AEX, and that was out in like the Philly area. And I was a Sm it was my first Smash Four tournament, but I loved watching Melee. It's like kind of what got me into Smash. And I commented in uh, Melee doubles um, with the Moon and DJ in. France. And I had like one other person there. I didn't say anything except whenever. Um, oh, that's right. Captain Smuckers was there too. It was, it was oh. DJ in the Moon versus Captain Smuckers, and I don't remember who else. But whenever Captain Smuckers landed to me, always it was just nice me. And I'm pretty sure like it was, nice back it was here. Awful. Yeah, it was, it was just stuff like that. Now I have a, you know, now I'm commentating a game I play at a higher level of understanding, so I don't just say, you know, nice back here, nice neutral here. Also, uh, DD versus Dark Samus. Um, I've never seen Sparky's Dark Samus before. Uh, we talked in the car, I told him that Dark Samus sucks because she doesn't do a backflip out of her, uh, <laughs> jump backwards. <laughs> uh, but Samus does, so Samus is, Samus is better, even though every other Oh, thing. man. Okay. Oh, canceling the up beat, almost SD'd there, but, uh... Samus is going to have the uh, landing trap options. Uh, with the disjointed up air, she is going to have options to contest DDD's landing. Because, as yes. I don't know. Because aside from up, uh, uh, neutral air, he does not have a box, uh, have a hitbox that actually covers him on his descent. Uh, right. He used to have back air, but they changed it. Mm. Able to get the grab and into the up air. That is not true at that percent. Yeah, I was about to ask if that was true. Oh, try to get into like, what just happened? I, I, I don't that know. Was, I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> that was insane. Oh. oh, I thought Sparky was about to SD there. That, uh, that would not been a happy, uh, happy man after that. Uh, forward air, uh, percents are even, but that just means DDD is winning. Like, Samus yeah. doesn't have some extraordinarily high kill power. No, oh, down into nothing. No, no uh, uh, could have gotten a back air if he yeah. had, uh, full, uh, full hopped out of it, but, uh, he... D uh, DDD's heavy and a fastballer, he probably... The corner just reflected that charge shot out of existence, and then he, like, that was a really beautiful let up from Bane there. Interesting thing about the Gordo, if you hit the Gordo before DDD has finished throwing it, it will just intercept any hitbox, and DDD will just knock it back at the same speed he always would have. Mm, but then, forward air going to take that. Oh, all right. I was actually kind of, like, even though he was, like, pretty high percent, I'm so surprised, like, killed considering how heavy DDD is. Mm -hmm. Uh, DDD, uh, not actually that prone to dying off the top, but dying off the side, he will die a lot e earlier than you think he will. Because, uh, he does not have the, uh, I forget, like, what weight class he's in. He's in the super heavyweights, for sure, yeah. but, uh, not sure if he's, like, in K. Rule Bowser range, or more like in, uh, Snake range. Ooh. Are you in the back throw? Really curious, another Gordo? Ooh, able to spot dodge through that grab, just being able to make Bane whiff it entirely. But, ooh, tries to go for the down yeah. in the two frame, but not gonna get it. Not going to try and risk down airing that far into the blast zone. I'm really, I'm really now. interested to see the let's play between these two characters. It seems like, there we go. Gordo's insane, actually. Holy crap. Uh, once Sparky figures out how to deal with Gordo at ledge, it's going to become a much interesting game because then yeah. it becomes the mind game of okay, do I Gordo now? Like, is he going to try and cover it? After right. I Gordo, do I charge? Do I charge a smash attack? Do I try to cover jump? Like, well, I'm there to mix up the recovery, but Ooh, oh, mate, like I said, here we go. Just figuring out how to deal with Gordo, fair on the Zare, Mark oh, Sparky man. mashing out of that neutral B, and it's not going down well for him. Uh, Sparky without charge shot, just trying to play neutral. Going to knock back DDD side B, but DDD just goes for it again. Back air right off the side. But outrageously strong back air for uh, Sam uh, for the Samuses. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, ooh, and parry into the forward tilt. Uh, not the best option DDD has, but certainly fast. Certainly covers a lot of options. Ooh, not going to get a new uh, Zare onto the shield and I'm really Oh, that Gordo just kinda yeah. just kinda. I really like how Bane is keeping center stage as well. It just feels like he has more control, he can throw out more Gordos at the same distances and pressure Sparky easier. Alright, here we go with an up throw. 
Mm, but unsafe dash attack. No. It's not a lead situation. Throw out the Gordo instantly. Uh, if you throw out uh, Dark Samus or Dark Samus's dash attack directly against the shield, uh, it's actually enough to cross them up. But if you do, if you just try to like ram them in with the edge of it, it will get you a better combo hitbox, but it it will not cross up. Uh, but right now, ooh, tried to go for the spike, but Bane just continued to fall. Did not want to give him the jump. Charge shot in that shield, very small. Uh, does not have a lot of time to throw out Gordo, but Sparky backing off to charge that charge shot. Neutral air still not going to do it. What? Okay, so, Sparky panicked. Yeah. After that inhale on the Gordo, he thought, crap, I need to dodge that, and he just hit the shield, and he just hit the uh, dodge button. Yeah. He could have actually re-grabbed the ledge if he had air dodged up, but he air dodged to the right, so it's not happening. Think Sparky is going to say Dark Samus? Um, I think he has like, quite a few characters at this point. So, sad thing, uh, he actually lost a penguin in Winners, and mm. the only thing he told me was, I really don't want to run into another DDD. Oh, he's seen that. Yeah, yeah he, he does not like playing against his character. But it is, uh, it is a necessary evil as uh, the heavies rise, ready to take on any challenge in their way. Well, he's going for ninja this game, okay. Okay, um... Earlier, we were talking about this matchup a little bit earlier today. Uh, Howler thinks that if both characters play really well, it's an even matchup, but... Right. Um, Greninja, if the DDD does not know what to do against him, uh, Greninja will definitely win. Uh, as, with the exception of this heavy, DDD does kind of, or Greninja does kind of slaughter heavies. Uh, his damage right. output on them is just so high that it doesn't really matter that he can only get in two or three times or that they try to contest oh, him. Bane not letting him get in at all. Just keep blowing him out with these gigantic aerials. Only taking 3% on his first yeah. stock. I question Yoshi's as a counter pick. Um, I think it was to mess up the uh, Gordo placements a little, but... Yeah, with the little dip on the edge yeah. and everything. But... Uh, Bane hasn't really been throwing Gordos out to control space. He's main, mainly been throwing them out as a way to uh, just approach, throw, uh, throw out something where uh, he has that hitbox going, and if it hits, great, but if not, you're in shield. Right. So uh, I think that's what... That's what uh, I don't think these slants are going to help against that type of style of Gordo play. No. But... Oh, but the shurikens are definitely going to help against any type of Gordo play, just even the weak hit. Oh, weak yeah. Here we go. Blowing out with the aerials. Um, that for uh, DDD's forward smash, none of his moves really have as much lag as you'd like them to. Right. Oh, and Spin on Gordo again. Oh, one for One oh, thing that DDD okay. likes about this, you saw, you yeah. saw just there the angle that he can make it go off of with the slant at the edge. But despite throwing out numerous water shurikens, he is not going to uh, knock that Gordo away. And right now, sitting at a two stock deficit, uh, up air, not going to be able to kill DDD again. Extremely hard to kill off the top. Oh, man just sat there and waited, not letting. Game, not letting him get put into a ledge trap situation. Ledge. Let them really get him the jab. I really like that. And, uh, that jab is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, they didn't... gave Greninja's forward smash significantly more range, so... I was, uh, uh, and even I wasn't prepared for that one. I was just yeah, kind of like, what? Okay. It, it's gonna outrange a hammer. Yeah. Just a uh, little water kunai. Gonna, gonna beat out the massive DDD. Don't uh, Sparky is... Like, the main thing that makes Greninja good against heavies is his ability to pressure shield. Like, neutral air they made significantly better in this. Uh, and despite heavies having better options out of the shield because of the frame through jump squat, they still don't have the best frame data, so no. it's not going... So, a lot of characters just straight up can't punish DD. Oh, and Danto air dodge. Ooh, Ooh there we go. smash right at the All of a sudden, two stock deficit turns into just a little 60% deficit. Definitely able to make this comeback. No, oh, definitely now. Like, I think he just kicks not the Gordo back. It, so it is going to take that Gordo. Ooh. See, right there, yeah. just a uh, 
forward air, what's that forward air into the dash attack going to be dealing yeah. 27%, and misreads which direction DDD was going into, does not get a follow up off of that. Alright, here's another edge guard situation, edge trap situation. Well, it tries to contest the uh, inhale, but it's, right. on it. it's so big. Yeah, it, it definitely does suck you, uh, suck you in on that, but he cannot keep throwing out these Gordos, oh! or can he? And it's going to seal it away. You know what? The I uneven think, stage working against him. I think Sparky actually expected a low profile that and thought that, you know, my, my Shuriken is definitely going to be able to get this and I want to dodge this Gordo, but, you know. Oh, a little misleading. Adam! I was wrong. I did see the yellow frames. It is a command grab. Or it does have grab properties. Yeah. No, it does not work on shields. He did start to figure out the matchup a little near the end, so I, I don't fault him for this, but mm -hmm. uh, I definitely don't think it's the best option he could be going for Falco does an exceedingly good job against Greninja, and we saw a lot of his Falco play at uh, uh, during doubles. Right, you mean Falco does well against DDD? Yeah. yeah. Did I say Greninja? Yeah. No, I play a little bit of Falco. I think uh, he would have done pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, like the uh, forward air, down tilt, uh, down tilts, and just the amazing off stage pressure. Right. Yeah. It's definitely doing would've something. Would have been very hard, but you know we're just, we're here with a Greninja getting the inhale spit out. Back air. Call out the roll. All right. Again, I just really like how like Bane is just keeping like center stage and throwing out Gordos and these gigantic hitboxes. It's definitely being hard. There's a stage spike. He was not able to tech that either. No. Like, for those of you who don't know, when you. Uh, Knock somebody into the stage, or when you stage spike somebody, if you get the red hit, the red stage spike frames, then it, you cannot attack it. Well, again, the Gordo stuck to the ledge there. Mm -hmm. I don't think he wanted that. Oh, you always want that. You want his recovery? Uh, yeah, because uh, you, uh, the opponent can't stand on ledge now. Oh, because I did not it's an active know that. Hitbox. I did not know it was like that. Okay. Wow. All right, Gordo. Gordo's an active boy. Puts in, puts in his time at the gym every day. Mm -hmm. Takes a 30 minute power walk. 30 minutes? You see him bouncing across that <laughs> stage? That's that's power walk right there. He, and he's doing it all day. So, I just saw Sparky go for a down tilt up smash. Um, is, is that true in this game still? Down tilt up smash is now true. Okay, cool. It wasn't in the last game. Or it was true, but it wouldn't kill in the last game. But yeah. now it'll kill. Right. Forward smash will also kill. Very good job. Yeah. Very good job from Sparky. Uh, noticing that he had the Gordo there, uh, his options were limited at, to cover the normal getup, but he chose the one option that he was still able to go for. All right. And even after that, that was a quick 60% that Sparky just racked up on Bane. Mm -hmm. But it's not like it even matters because, I mean, it's good to have percent, but it's still DDD. King DDD. He is king for a reason. Actually, is he king for a reason? What is he king of? I'm pretty sure the say, entire Kirby not, games are... not Dreamland, yeah. I feel like, because he wanted to take over Dreamland. But in that case, it's like, well, Bowser is the king of the Koopas, so who knows? Yeah. Oh, trying to go for the counter there, because he knows that Bane will just keep throwing out hitboxes. Down tilt oh. two-frame, forward smash! I was not ready for the two-frame. This oh, is the first was... time Sparky's had to lead this set. Yeah, it is! Uh. Doing a decent job, uh, job with it. Uh, if he can avoid getting killed, uh, I'd say rack up about 60%. This will this will definitely be uh, be a prime game for him to win. It feels like Greninja's forward air, just like being able to like a little bit of land light on it. It feels like the same as like how you space cloud fair now. It's like he has a sword. But 50%. Uh, so uh, still Pretty close. Yeah, so but immediately then, getting know. that fair, which does 17%, mind you, just casually. Uh, F tilt, that's pretty nice. Again, just making sure that he just keeps center stage. You actually can spot dodge that entire F tilt if you uh, do it correctly, but uh, it's not, it wasn't meant to be. Down air, Ooh. getting punished by the up air, and all of a sudden Sparky losing this lead. 
Oh, going down for smash. the down smash. Oh, I asked him to do that a little bit more earlier. But I don't know if it was the right option there, as he is now right. losing center stage, and he is going to pay dearly for it. Mistiming that back air, but going to get the next one. Oh, keeps trying Justin. to these shadow sneaks. Yeah. Oh, no, this is a re-grab. Yeah, Gordo's going to hit him there. Uh, I'd definitely take the re-grab over getting hit by that well, down yeah, smash. Of course. <laughs> like, if the options are get uh, ledge trapped by DDD or get hit by the Gordo, like, you're taking that Gordo. Ooh. Oh! Neutral air into back air, going to seal it out. 3 0. -oh. Well played from both players, but Bane yeah. just was able to seal out the stocks. Are you perky ready? Yep. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Hey, thanks for playing.